Wonder Women. Hey, we're heading into Organ Pipe National Monument. It's in Arizona and it sits way down on the border of Mexico. Yep. And Annette has been here. I have never been here. I'm excited as can be. It's supposed to be really cool. It's been a really long time since I've been here. Long time. So we will let you know how it how it goes, what it looks like, what the campground's like, and uh, show you the scenery. The last town we came through is a town called Y, W-H-Y. W-H-Y, Y, Arizona. Which appears to have a few people, maybe three or four. Yeah. All right, check in later. So we're at the campground. We just have to go around and try to get in our site. We just went to the dump station. Yeah, and we went to the dump station and dumped and got water. Because they're not hookup sites. They're just, you're just parking in a parking spot. No electric, just out here. It's awesome though, look at this. Beautiful. So you'd be driving in like this. You come in this way on the road and they have, all the sites are pull-throughs. So you just, and it's paved, they're really level. And they have a little, uh, little patio, a little grill, and a picnic table. So this is our sweet little spot at Oregon Pipe National Monument. You have this little cactus garden like all around you. It's just so cool. The only thing here is they don't have any um, hookup. It's, uh, they don't have electric, they don't have uh, water hookup. Um, they have a dump station and fresh water so you can fill your tanks, but you, you just don't have any electric. There's a generator area and a non-generator area. We're in the generator area because it's the only spot left when we made the reservations. But um, we have solar, so we never run a generator. But um, the great thing is they only allow generators to run from 8 to 10 in the morning and from 4 to 6 in the afternoon, and then they have to be shut off. So that's been really nice. Um, Anyway, I'm going to turn around here and show you uh, our campsite. We have, um, it's totally paved, and it has a little table, and um, the sites are, are nicely designed, really. It's really nice. This is the other side of our, our, our RV. You just have a lot of uh, cactus. You can see that people are kind of spread out. It's not bad. Good morning. Morning. Hey, we're out in the Sonoran Desert. Yeah, the sun's right in my face. And we are here. Turn it this way, maybe. Yep, then you're kind of. This is a cool uh, oh place. It's like you're right in a cactus garden. You feel like you're part of the garden. It's cool. And the campsites are really cool. And, um,. Gosh, we're just like sitting right in the middle of the desert. It's it's green. The Ocotillos are That's green. It's called the Green Desert. We'll take you on a hike. We're waiting on Juliet and uh, Lynn, and then we're going to take this hike. And we're going to find this. So the organ pipe cactus are here, so we'll show you those. And then there's a cactus called the Sunita cactus. Sunita. And it's only in one little area, so we're going to walk up to it and find that. Yeah, we're going to check that out and see what that's like. We'll take you guys with us. Okay. All right, living All life right. in the desert. <laughs> it's fun. So this is a organ pipe cactus. Look at that beauty. Love it.
the Sunita cactus. It kind of grows like a organ pipe, but it's just, uh, it's different. We have a um, blooming ojotillo cactus. Ground. We probably did a 10 mile hike out here. It's awesome. Man, love it. So we are in Oregon Pipe National Monument, the wind's blowing a little bit, and we're doing this Alamo Canyon Trail, which is highly recommended. It's supposed to be amazing, and it already looks amazing. I'll turn it around and show you this, so cool. There's a little campground here, but it's a primitive campground. Um, go, you go down a gravel road about a couple miles, I think, and it's uh, it's kind of cool. It has tent camping, and if you have a van or a camper, you can park down here. But um, anyway, we'll take you along. All right.
Hey, hey. Oh, hey. So we just Hi. finished our little Alamo Canyon hike. It was short, it's but it was beautiful. It's kind of a sad snack story. Yeah, we have a sad snack story. <laughs> so, so, I was at the store and I saw this chocolate peanut butter and I looked at it and I thought, oh, it doesn't really have very much more sugar than peanut butter. And it has this very nice, deep, dark chocolate color. So I got some and today we tried it on graham crackers and it's like psychologically wow. devastating. Yeah. Damaging too. Yeah, I mean it's it you eat it and then you it's like there's no chocolate taste to it. And you're like, no, I want the chocolate, that's why I bought it. And so then you end up eating the chocolate peanut butter graham cracker, which tastes like a nutter butter at that point. And then and then you still want chocolate. It's like it's worse because then you would, if you had chocolate right, then you'd eat a whole nother vat. Yeah, it messes up your mind. Yeah. If it was peanut butter on a cracker, you would expect that. It's manipulation. It would have been okay, but it it's felt, chocolate. It felt like manipulation. And it's not one taste of chocolate. You'd think it would be chocolate peanut butter, but it's just peanut butter that looks like chocolate. So what they ought to call it is peanut butter it, but it doesn't have any chocolate in it. We all didn't like it. Juliet was disappointed too. She said now it made her want chocolate even more. <laughs> we're headed out, we're finding chocolate. So anyway, bad choice. Um, we were trying to go less sugar because you know Nutella has more sugar and you know Pesky's always on her back. So Annette gets this peanut butter with, I don't know, eight grams of sugar. Mm, not worth it. So the Oregon pipe cactus is um, only found in this part um, of the U U.S. Actually, the bulk of it is protected by this national monument. And then it's, they're, they're on into Mexico, northern uh, Mexico. Um, but they live to be about 150 years old. They don't get their first bloom until they're 35 years old. Um, there's also another... Uh, cactus here called the Sanita cactus that's in this area. Um, really cool. I just love the big cacti. So awesome to be out here exploring it. Here's an organ pipe right behind me. They're so cool. They grow to be 26 feet high. Um, amazing. Highly recommend this park. One of my favorites. Love it. So these are called the Ocotillo cactus. And they look like just a bunch of dead sticks until they start getting their leaves. And this one's just starting. So as you come up closer, you can see the green leaves. And when they're fully um, covered, it's they're beautiful. They're a beautiful green. And they have at the tips, they'll have these red flowers. They're amazing. One of my favorite. So the Ocotillo cactus is interesting in that it, um, when it doesn't have moisture, it just drops its leaves. It looks like a bunch of dead sticks just sticking out of the ground. And then as soon as it gets moisture, the leaves just pop out within a couple of days. Um, and then when the soil gets to a certain level of dryness, it drops its leaves again. So it continues to do that process over and over depending on rain. It's really cool. It's one of my favorite. And this here is called a chain fruit choya. And it is, it's fruit. Let me get out of the light here. You can see where the fruit kind of hangs down. This here is the barrel cactus, and at some point it will be, we just read that mid-May all this, this cactus landscape is blooming. It would be awesome to be here. So this is the organ pipe. So I'll show you the difference with the organ and the sanita. The sanita, and you can see it's different. It has like five ribs on it. There's a couple of our first batches of mm -hmm. saguaro cookies. Here Lynn is getting the next batch ready. 
We have yeah. some cooking and it smells delicious in oh here. Oh my gosh, if you could smell these. They smell really good. I love fresh limes. Look at our swaros. <laughs> and we're doing our lime frosting. Yep. Doing a little zest. Really good. Lynn, doing it up. It's going to be great. <laughs> hey. Hi. We were just <laughs> we were talking about how much we love this park, oh my gosh. and so we're amazing. making our saguaro cookies mm -hmm. in the middle of the desert. We are. We love it. It's so fun. I'll let you know how it goes. They're gonna be good. <laughs> They're gonna be real good. They are. Ginger homemade gingerbread cookies with lime frosting. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've had them before. We like. Yeah, we've kind of perfected our recipe here, we so have. we're good. We could sell them. We could. <laughs> we'll put a cookie stand outside the outside the RV. <laughs> I don't know. I can't give them up. I know. I I know. know. That would be hard. But anyway. Okay, baby. Down on